Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Jenny Danger, and this is my poll list for July 17th. It's my business face. Gail Simone's Red Sonia comes out this week, and it's going to be glorious. Glorious, glorious. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The preview begins with a bunch of thieves stumbling up on drunken Sonia and trying to rob her, which promises to be fun for them, I guess. Plus, a whole gaggle of beautiful covers are coming out for this comic, done by the best ladies in the biz. Let's see, I'm grabbing the Amanda Connor cover, uh, Stephanie Buscema, Fiona Staples, of course, uh, Nicola Scott, and Jenny Friesen, yeah? Which covers are you grabbing? They're all gonna be pretty. The theme of ass-kicking redheads and blood-soaked politics continues this week in Scarlet number no. seven. Scarlet brings her demands to City Hall, so we're gonna find out if the people actually want Scarlet Law. In Fables 131 this week, Rose Red steps up to the plate, and I've really been waiting for an opportunity to see her just reach legendary status in this comic. It's coming, guys. She mopes a lot. Stop it. They don't always see eye to eye, so I'm really curious what Batwoman's going to do this week in issue number 22 when she finds out that the DEO is targeting Batman. Awkward turtle. Wonder Woman gets in on the father-son act that is Orion and the High Father in issue number 22 this week. Mastermind delivers Jean Grey into the clutches of Jason Wingard once again this week in all new X-Men number 14. I love this story. I really do. But I'm also a big Jean Grey fan, so I'm really wary of beating the really dead horse that is the Dark Phoenix. Can we steer Jean away from that particular storyline or do something original? I think that the key here lies in the new mastermind. I hope we can use her character to develop something new and original and different for this story. Sam wants to join the Avengers and his mom never lets him do anything fun in Nova number six. Love can overcome all things, but it can also be a huge pain in the ass when you decide to skip your number and be reincarnated to be with the love of your life. We'll find out about it in number cruncher number one. The Legend of Korra came out on DVD, you guys. Nickelodeon, I'm not mad at you anymore. We can be friends. To show you I have no hard feelings, I'm going to pick up the first volume of the art book, Air. I'm excited. Dave McKeon and Neil Gaiman team up to write the superheroine story of Black Orchid. This week it comes out in trade paperback. It's the story of a woman who's brutally murdered and is reincarnated as a half-human, half-plant hybrid, which is pretty cool. Eisner Hall of Famer Archie Goodwin's Tales of the Batman comes out this week, and you should definitely check it out. Goodwin wrote Batman in the 1960s, and comic book noobs, this is a great opportunity to educate yourself. For those of you who get those warm, nostalgic feelings every time you hear John Hurt's voice, the Storyteller graphic novel comes out this week, and it'll have more legends, more stories, more myths. Definitely check it out, especially for the kiddos. What's on your poll list this week? It's a really good week. Tell me down below in the comments or hop on over to weird-girls.com and let me know there. Also, be sure to like this video, share, subscribe if you haven't already, shame on you. A special thanks as always goes out to Austin Books and Comics for taking such great care of our polls. Thanks guys.